When I did my PC upgrading video three years ago, people were relentless in the comments. If that's your PC, I'm terrified of your room. Your computer doesn't need an air can, it needs Jesus. Buy a new one, point taken. I ain't buying a new PC though, I'll just swap out the parts. In that video I did a couple of upgrades, but since that I've done two and a half more upgrades. First off, I got rid of the 1080 and now I got myself a 3080. Bam! Pop that in there. Second upgrade, I popped the one terabyte SSD into the motherboard. And not so long ago, I invested in a second SSD. But this time, it was two terabytes. Kcha! In it goes. Then I booted the PC and I was greeted with this. Reboot and select the proper boot device. That's weird, it can't possibly be the new SSD I popped in. And checking the BIOS, my SSD with Windows is nowhere to be found. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Remember that new 2 terabyte SSD I installed? Well, bam! Out it comes. And now my PC launches like normal. I have questions that do need some answers. Google told me that someone on Reddit said, any motherboards disable two of the onboard SATA ports when an NVMe is installed. Well, right now I'm a man in need of aid. I need help. I turned to my friends with this issue on Discord. Your boot tray is SATA? Well, of course it's SATA. It's been SATA since 2013, but I got the hint. Either I keep my 240 gigabyte SATA drive or upgrade to a two terabyte SSD NVMe. Well, obviously the choice here is easy. I put the two terabyte SSD to the side until I can bother to Google how to move Windows to another storage device. But while I was inside my PC installing and uninstalling the 2TB SSD, I noticed it was quite dusty. And I did what any human would do in this situation. To try and live with the dust. But the next day I didn't feel like being gross. I decided to become a better human and clean this beast. After all, it's been over three years since I cleaned this puppy. A perfectly normal amount of time to wait until you clean your PC. What you're about to see right now is simply unexplainable. Look at this. How can so much dust collect in a little over a thousand days? It's beyond me. It's just really fascinating. If anyone out there can invent a Roomba for the inside of your PC, please let me know. But everybody knows that the glass panel is the dusty place. The real horror is behind a panel no one checks. And I wanted to go where no man has gone before. Time to bring out the big guns. No more air in a can. And no more dusting inside the house. And I learned that the hard way. It's sunny outside and I got an air compressor. Time to dust. And now that that is done, time to let the PC settle, I guess. And enjoy this beautiful hot day with the walk. <laughs> nah, to hell with that. Let's, let's just plug this bad boy back in and do some damn gaming. turn on come on come on you all right we're good yeah let's do some gaming 